Let's have a round of applause for what I can only describe as the nicest map mod for CK2 that I've absolutely ever seen. So this was released uh, yesterday, to my knowledge, and somebody linked it in the Discord and said, take a look at this. And, and honestly, I'm so glad I did, because it looks so incredible. I can't quite sum it up how good it is. Um, you, you really need to play this for yourself, but look at the terrain map mode, for example. This looks insanely good compared to base game CK2. Now, one feature I really, really like, and I don't know if, if any of you keep up with Imperator Rome, but... The zoom feature is very similar, that when you get close to the map, it will change more to a terrain-based mode, and then obviously as you're at medium level, you see the duchies, and then obviously even further out, it changes once again to this more, um, more saturated sort of, uh, much denser map mode. It looks so nice. So, again, link to this in description. Take a look at this. This is the, uh, I believe it's called In Heaven's Graphical Overhaul mod. I, I believe the same author has done a lot of mods before. Uh, however, their, their, their other mods made it look more uh, like, like a traditional cartographic map, like the CPM map mode. The one thing I have changed over is the fonts on the map because I didn't personally like them very much. But there is quite a simple fix for those of you interested in that. But, I'll, I'll, you know, leave a comment if you really want to know about that type of thing. We're going to be playing this with this probably forever from now on because, honestly, I like it that much. I think, I think the amount of work they put in it definitely deserves a round of applause. So... That being said, we have a nice new map, we have a nice new religion to go along with it, obviously the, the religion of Throog, soon to be renamed religion of Throog, just waiting for those little last bits of feedback before I really go through with any sort of religion, um, not overhaul, but just rename, you know, that type of thing, wait and see what you guys think of that. Okay, what's the plan? We need to be a republic, man, I can't get over this map, it's so nice, look, I'm getting distracted. We've got a republic to make, right? Let's take a look. Um, what do we need for that? We just need to get tribal organization to maximum. We can pass another law this time next year, or well, within a month, or, uh, 13 months, let's put it that way. After that, it's going to be another five years' time. So potentially by 945, we could have ourselves the Republic. Now, to my knowledge, the, uh, the a mod that I've, I've enabled and sort of tweaked a little bit should allow us to immediately inherit, as a female, the Republic holdings. Otherwise, you have to pass a law whereby um, you enable full uh, sort of equality for women in the Republic. With this mod, we should be fine with it. So, fingers crossed that's actually working, eh? Man, look at these Cs. Holy shit, it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. Right, in the meantime, we're going to do what Throog does best, and we're going to go and Throog it up with the Pope. I really want to get that really powerful artifact, some of the really powerful boons from China. They are in isolation right now, but they, he does like wealth. So now is absolutely the time to do that. Let's go artifact hunt him for a bit. Let's build ourselves up, play tall, get ready to convert to a republic as soon as possible. How is our air coming out? That was, uh... No, it's not you. Why Why are you there? You need to go away. Um... How can we get rid of her? We really can't, because without CK2+, plus, we, you, you obviously can't plot against your children anymore, which is an absolute pain in the ass. Um... Man, Maritoc it's a shame meritocracy and Anatic can't, you know, possible to play together. Otherwise, picking the most eligible woman out of your children would have been kind of a cool play style. But, nope, that would be too strong. So, we need to get rid of you. How are we going to get rid of you? We could recruit her to the Warrior Lodge and hope to hell that she just dies. She's got 18 personal combat. Let's wait and see. I was waiting for you to be ready. Come on. Die. She got wounded. That's good. Um, although, she's now part of Children of the Storm. God damn it. So, she's only going to get better from here on out. What if we make her a... She's a commander... What if we have her lead all of our armies until she dies horribly? That could be a good plan. Look, she can't be competed with at this stage, right? She's got strong, attractive, brawny, ambitious, like erudite, deceitful, brave. All of her traits are incredibly good. Um, oh, I forgot we married her. Ah, CK2, classic. All right then, um, we could... No, we can't. No, basically we can't do anything. I, again, I'm probably just going to put her in charge for the armies and hope that she dies. So, Goya, off you go. Oh man, I like our... I like our hat that we're wearing there, the nice leopard skin hat. That's kind of nice. Suits you, Grand. Grand Saltigu, which is how I'm pronouncing that now. Saltigu Igor. Okay, off we go then. Let's head to the Pope. This is the greatest news I could have ever received. No, this is not worrying. This is this is incredible. Good. This this is just so good. I bet. Hang on, don't. What? Within seconds, she's dead. I wonder who that could have been who is now our heir and also married to us with fairly good intrigue and good sway amongst our realm. I wonder who could have killed her off. Oh well, you know, if I'd have found out then I wouldn't have really minded either. She was also, she's also killing another woman in personal combat. My god. She's only 19 as well. So we're going to be able to play this character for quite a, a significant amount of time. What are we, we're 56? Look, it's only in the morning, okay? I'm struggling, I'm struggling with the commentary at this point. Um, Rome has been besieged by a Roman peasant revolt? No way is the Pope going to lose Rome. 
to a to a peasant revolt. He absolutely is. Uh 53% in favor of let's sit and wait. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this happen. We're about to see the Pope completely gone to a goddamn peasant revolt of all things. Goodbye. Um look at me. I'm Pope now. Prince Bishop David of Rome. I don't know if that's how you say the name. Well, that the unfortunate answer to that means that the Pope is now on land and it has a lot of good artifacts, which means we can never get them. Um, how do we find the Pope? We just go to the history of this title, I suppose. Yep, there he is. Uh, do you have any land left? No, he's actually got nothing. He's just got the Papal See. Or the Paper Sea. Um, great. Well, that's annoying. I guess we'll just head over to the Byzantines, who I'm sure have some really nice stuff for me to take. What have you got for me? Um, nothing. Oh, God damn it! really? Okay, uh, what about... Galilee, they probably have some some classic treasures kicking around, eh? Nothing at all. Oh my god. Well, that's annoying. The Aztecs. When all else fails, visit the Aztecs. Capital's already looted. Okay, then. Don't visit the Aztecs. There's got to be somebody with some good artifacts around. England. You've got hordes stashed away. Uh, Queen Thera Vitserk. I mean, I'm pretty sure that means white shirt. Uh, what have you got? Saints Fingerman. For God's sake. Seriously? I might just search for rare artifacts and see what we can pull up then. All right, let's do that. Uh, reset all. Right, let's go. Uh, rare artifacts. Uh, let's go. Uh, excuse me. Rare artifacts. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's sort by rank. The Aztecs obviously have some stuff that we can't steal. Oh, the Abbasids. I never even thought about the Abbasids. What have they got? Oh, they've got some pretty decent stuff. Unfortunately, the, the rare artifacts is the, the, the Chinese artifacts up there, so that's a bit pointless. Um... Nepal? Not really, not really practical to raid Nepal via boat. Uh, what about you? What have you got, pal? Um, again, these goddamn Chinese artifacts are ruining everything. Alright, we'll just come home for a while. We'll just, we'll just sit around at home. We'll spend our money. Look, we've got plenty of money. I'm being greedy at this stage. I just wanted some wealth to send to China, you know. The Ritual Hunt. Well, this sounds fun. I imagine this isn't going to get us killed or anything. Before we leave for this perilous journey to slay the monster that's menacing my subjects, I should make an offering to the creator. Um... Burn my best cattle. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can afford that, right? It's, it's not really a dent in our in our treasury right now. The time has come for us to leave the safe confines of civilization, I wouldn't go that far, and venture forth into the dark domain of the monster plaguing my lands. Let's go. With my good friend, friend, uh, Fistaroo. Let's go, Fistaroo. Did you know my friend Naughty Milk Drinker? <laughs> no, Kinky Milk Drinker, that was it. Naughty Milk, okay, that's way too obvious. Ritual Hunt. Um, the search for the Great Lion has brought my expedition to the slopes of a thick patch of the grassland. Despite beginning this hunt with the most unwavering resolution, I'm starting to feel... <laughs> Naughty milk drinks out. Okay. Um, learning to interpret the bad omens. Um, Fisteru, tell me, is there another way to interpret these signs? We can rely on his learning. Our learning is better. Or, we say my piety shields me from harm. Lose 150 of it. I mean, I feel like we are a very pious man, seeing as we are the leader of the newly reformed religion. So sure, if anybody's going to be blessed, it's the equivalent of the African Pope. Antelus, a fledgling in the lodge, is a mediocre jewelist at best, who I don't really care about, who kind of has kind of scary eyes. Um, uh, also, he's a, he's, a, he's a filthy heretic. No, take care of himself. I don't care. All right. The great lion is resting under a tree, uh, placidly looking at the horizon. Finding the beast at its weakest gives us a considerable advantage. I know exactly how to deal with it. Um, you slay the great beast. Really? This kind of reminds me of that time we became the ever chosen in Kahuna's We're just going to press the button and slay it. Done. I barely escaped the lion's pounce. Just as I slide past the jumping beast, I push my spear through its chest, getting pulled alongside it. Uh, the monster roars, claws at me. Okay, it's really sad because we killed it. Gain the lion's mane. Okay, that's pretty good. For... 100 years? Oh, that, right, that's just us. Okay, so we gain the lion's mane for the rest of our life. Cool. Um, gives us prestige. Hunt it with me. Thank you. We will burn its remains. We gain piety instead. Um, or we can bring the carcass back and gain prestige. I'll make a trophy out of it. I mean, I can't imagine this guy's going to be around much longer, so it doesn't matter too much, but that's kind of a nice little event there. All right, um, now we should be able to invest quite heavily into the realm. We need a new diviner. All right, welcome aboard. You can build my zeal for me. Uh, speaking of building, what are we building right now? A great idol. Oh my god, that's going to take ages. I didn't realize that was going to take four more years to build. Holy shit. There's better do something great, because you remember, I think we spent, what was it, like 500 gold on it? Something like that. It was very, very expensive, so hopefully this pays itself off. Now, I don't know why the hell we haven't got a claim on Marrakesh yet. 100% chance yearly, and nothing. You are in the right place. Yeah, you are absolutely in the right place. We haven't already got a claim on it, have we? We've got a claim on the sheikdom of Marrakesh, which is not the same thing at all. There. All you got to do is complain. Listen, millennials. Listen, epic gamers. All you got to do, complain until Bethesda give you that canvas bag you were promised, all right? 
Only 161 gold, which I think is about how much Fallout 4 Collector's Edition cost. Alright, uh, what do we get? Oh, we could just Great Holy Roll them, I suppose. Was it the... Oh, it wasn't even the Duchy. Should have, should have guessed for that price. Um, let's move you over. I don't know if it's possible to fabricate claims on Duchy with her... What has she got? Oh, she's got 20. Yeah, no, it is. Alright, fair enough. If I wanted to Great Holy War, I think I would probably go for something a bit more substantial, like... I mean, Tora is massive, eh? Holy shit. Um, Great Holy War for Horsaland? Take all of this central area. It's not very much. Um, he is also a heretic. That seems like a good choice for a Holy War to me. How many men has he got? 902 versus our mighty 9,000 Dongo blessed men. That seems like a good idea to me. Alright, and I wonder why I'm not monetized. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, Declare War. Great Holy War. Why not? Let's do it. The Great Holy War for Horse and Land. We get no fancy crusade mechanics because Paradox don't... Because they're racist. I'm going to put it out there. Paradox are racist. They don't care about African Great Holy Wars as much as they care about the European Holy Wars. The Omens are clear. Grand Saltigu Irog has declared the Great Holy War on Sultan Mysar of the Torah Sultanate. And blah, 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 blah. May ancestors strike down their the spirits. Not good grammar, but I'll forgive you. Um, for the ancestors, naturally. Not for the spirits, though, just for the ancestors. But not the ancestral spirits, because that's a, that's a grey line. We don't talk about that. All right. Um, we want to win this holy war, naturally. Uh, we, we personally, it's a great holy war, so we personally want to win it. People are probably going to offer to join. I might even say no. Because I, only I want to win it. And I think we've got more than enough troops by ourselves to win it. I, I feel like I've driven that point home right now. Okay, race the fleets. Um, we don't have enough fleets. My goddamn men again. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, I mean, by the spirits. Okay, uh, get on the boats. Let's drop them off. And then let's go back for the other guys. And then pick them up and then drop them off again. <laughs> Classic. All right, all the fun and games with Holy Fury. But look at this map, though. Not added by Paradox. Paradox would never put in this much work. Oh, my God, it's so good. It, it just helps my eyes. You know, when you start at this game for five or six hours a day, having a nicer map, it really just it just revolutionizes it a little bit, you know? It's kind of the difference between night and day. All right, um, we can call him more allies. Chief Des Amita of Soso with a 700 men. Sure. Apparently they count for 100 men from the mainland. Was it 10 men from the mainland? I don't remember. Alright. Um, righteous imprisonment against... Ah, of course. Vodka Reindeer. Um, you can go. Thank you for turning up. You're gone. What was he going to do? Should probably check that first, eh? Um, we could just execute him. Tyrannical. Banish him. Take 8.3 gold. That was worth it. Vodka money. Gone. <laughs> For some time now, I've been worried about Grand Vizier Wenshu's progress, or rather the lack thereof. Now my worst fears have been confirmed. As a consequence of Wenshu's carelessness, an artifact has occurred. Oh, an accident has occurred. I wish an artifact would occur, to be honest with you. And a large amount of resource and documentation was ruined. You thick friggin' idiot. Oh, she's my concubine. Thick with one C, not two. In fact, I'm so annoyed at you, I'm gonna... Uh, I might even set you aside. Yeah, that'll teach you a lesson. You shit. Uh, why didn't I trust that filthy corpse? Oh my god. What a horrible thing to say about a woman who... I, I was going to say that you love, but that's maybe not even remotely true, is it? Alright, uh, they're leading troops, which is very convenient. Ruler person leading troops. Um, Farbus Diobe of Timbuktu. Let's go and take him out then. Uh, do we just want to lead all the troops ourselves, personally? Because honestly, we're so good at combat at this stage. I think it would be, uh, I think it would be a mistake not to do that. That filthy corpse. She's got me some claims, though. I was complaining, but she actually got me a little bit more claims there. Steward, welcome aboard. Oh, you're crap, but welcome aboard, nonetheless. All right, um, what do we not have? We don't have Safi. Let's go and grab that one. And then I think it's just that one, and we've got them all, so we don't even need that. We'll make our own dude level title. What's wrong with your face? Oh, hell it. Oh, God, I don't think I can say that. I'm, I apologize to anybody watching who suffers any sort of uh, facial, uh, facial uniqueness. That's called being diplomatic. To the great... Sol Soltigu, Irog, from Captain Tanyan of the Songhai Band. The in 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 availability of our previous employer. Oh, right. We would serve your majesty if you would have us. So he hired mercenaries that turned against him. Look at that. That's very cool. Thank you. Um, Gain the trait Niame Shield. Oh, man. Okay, so they did actually have unique uh, crusade traits for us. That's cool. Church opinion plus 10. That's me. I'm the church. I've got a better opinion of myself. It's always good to have high style for steam. And all I had to do was kill a bunch of uh, filthy he heathens. Speaking of which, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I thought it was going to be a third splat, but I guess we killed them via some other method. Um, what are we trying to take, anyway? Oh, there's his capital. Well, we should probably burn that. Um, all right, hello, welcome. Uh, are you leading troops? Are you out there? No, he's just in his capital. That's convenient for us, because now we can... Uh, 
It's fallen. The target of our crusade, the Kirby tribe, has fallen. So are the, our mighty arms and the wrath of God. God? I thought we worshipped multiple gods. I feel like that's another oversight by Paradox. Maybe it's just a feature, the Bethesda strategy, eh? The canvas? <laughs> I'm not going... No, hang on. I'm not going back into that. It's too spicy for me. I, I'm not an epic gamer, so I can't comment on these all these spicy occurrences. I didn't even pre-order the Fallout 76 Epic Leak Gamer Edition. Uh, where they upgrade the engine for once with all the money that you guys gave them. I'm just on you guys. It's your fault. <laughs> Good news. My brave knights have captured the target of the crusade. Katsina. Thank you. I appreciate that. Although, maybe not. Maybe I... Well, we've got the most war score. We win. Thank you. The great holy war for House of Land has ended. We have won. Praise the spirits. That's not mine, though. Excuse me? Queen... Yeah, but Why? We had 52% war score? Have they changed the mechanics? Have I not been informed? I thought it always went to the guy with the most war score. I've never been so bamboo. What an absolute waste of time. Well, I suppose we've got rid of filthy heathens, so I guess that's not... Holy Fury, everyone. That, that, that was my Holy Fury. I'm going to be fucking Holy Furious about the fact that I didn't gain that land. Good lord, I guess that's why they named this DLC then. Should we just carry on with the Holy Furying? Should we try and make an Empire level top before we flip to the Republic? I feel like that's not a bad idea. What is our du jour? It's going to be like the Empire of... Oh, Empire of Mali. I thought they were going to go on with something shit like the Empire of Africa. Um, that's not that large. We do own most of it already, right? 48%. Oh, man, that's great. Okay, this won't take me any time at all. Uh, Timbuktu, time for you to... No, okay. We're going to attack this guy instead. Uh, Yatenga. Uh, I haven't got a good pump for that one. I'm sorry. I try, I try to think of something. We could just force vassalize him. Sure, why not? Spend some press DJ. We've got plenty of it. Um, I feel like our retinues alone will win this, so I don't think we need to call anyone in. And you know what? With me leading it, how could we fail? With my good friend, with my avatar in this spiritual realm, Grand Saltigu Irog, how could we lose? All right, let's get them all on one flank, because this guy's just unstoppable. One flank on the center. This guy's unstoppable. You realize that to become a great fighter, you would need to get in better shape. I feel like that's irrelevant. We are brawny and strong. And we are 35, 131 person. We don't need to go, we don't need to go running. It's irrelevant. Cardio kills gains. Have you, do you know nothing? Grand Saltigu Irog. I hate the title as well. We need to, we need to come up with a custom name for that. Because I'm not calling him the Saltigu every single time. The, uh, sorry, the foul, <laughs> the foul old African heresy. That's definitely demonetized. It's spreading like wildfire in Zamfara. As head of the true African faith, I must take action to quell it. In the name of the spirits. I thought we went to war against the spirits. Now we're in favor of the spirits. You know what? Spirits, enemies, or friends are, are, are allowed in the realm. Open a dialogue with the heretics. We tried this before and it never really worked. Send a, le a, a legate to uh, Queen... Oh, we could. I'll just open a dialogue. We've got the high learning. We've got plenty of gold. Why not, eh? My prisoner, Yuma Askia, As Askia escaped from his cell at night. Ah. Never wait from the blow to his head. Oh my god. Did she kill one of my guards? Unbelievable. Uh, speaking of which, we should probably ransom off some prisons, eh? Or, mass sacrifice. Oh, maybe not. Uh, tyranny. Abroad. Mass sacrifice. Uh, cause you to lose 40 piety. This will not worsen your vassal's opinion. This will upset the rounds of some characters executed. You know what? Uh, Irog is angry. Because his guard, his faithful guard, the prison guard, needs to be appeased. That was not quite as good as I was hoping. Honestly, uh, we could have made a fortune out of that, couldn't we? Okay, let's, let's ransom some people. Off you go. Or, or banish them, I should say. You're banished from the realm. A sad tale. My magnificent cat curled up in its favourite spot by the window last night. I think now that maybe it knew it did not have long left in the world. At least it went peacefully, unlike those 13 people I just executed horribly. Um, I should invite the whole court to celebrate the adventurous life of my cat. Your cat would be honoured. I'm glad. Game trade charitable. That's also pretty decent because that gives diplomacy. So I will take that. Thank you. All right. Well, we've sort of mitigated our absolutely crappy diplomacy set. This guy is surrendering because he's a sensible lad like that. Um, are you all right, though? Are you fine with me? You are my religion. I am your religion head. Have some gold as well. Thank you for the land. Basically bought him off in 66 gold there. All right. What about you? Timbuk2? How about Timbuk? Get out. And into my empire. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, she wants 160 gold for a statue. To be fair, we've got plenty of gold lying around, so why not? Um, I do kind of want to hover by a thousand gold so that when we convert to a republic, we can just immediately dash out, like, as many upgraded trade posts. We can build a new city immediately. We can we can come in swinging. Let's put it that way. All right. You guys can go. Thank you. Um, might as well just assault this down here and be done with it. There we go. Problem solved. I'll be taking that, if you don't mind. What about you? De Gene, uh, you might take vassalization. No. I'm your friggin' religious leader. What are you talking about? No. 
We could border dispute them. How much piety is that? Or how much prestige is that? 100? Unjust war. Force vassalization is 250 prestige. Ah, it's probably not worth it. There's better targets, right? What about this dude for his... Wait. A store... What's an emperor under a king? Oh, suzerain. Right, got it. I was very confused then for a second. I like that feature, but it does sometimes throw me off. Um, 8,000 men. Your wife is a potato. She's actually just a potato. So Tana is wrong. Cross that outright potato instead. Uh, she's never even seen a fruit in her life. Force vassalizer and then shuffle her under someone else so she's not angry at me. That seems fine. I mean, anything to give us this empire level title, eh? Um, what are we, so what are we trying to form? The empire of Mali, was it? How close are we? 72%. Oh, shit. It's only like a couple more titles. And this is definitely worth going for these smaller smaller titles than if they're available to us. Man, our retinues are so good. Probably something to do with us, eh? Oh, bring it. Good one. Uh, now we're going to sacrifice this man in punishment for you disobeying me. All right. Um, What is the D-Shaw? Oh, is Ghana. Can we make Ghana? Oh, we can absolutely make Ghana. Yoink. You know what? I'll give that to you just to, just to make you a little bit happier. Here you go. I have Ghana. Uh, high Chief from Ghana. Wait. No, it's alphabetical. I was going to say, did they actually put the... The, the corresponding to your duchy to the count that it corresponds to. No, that would be way too sensible and far too convenient for this game. All right, um, what can we make then? We can make the kingdom of Ghana. Speaking of Ghana, I've gone and made the title. Unsubscribe. Don't do that, please. I, I need you. Um, what, right, so, oh, man, I'm so annoyed. I might actually have to go to war with this woman now. She we can't even force vassalize or anything. I'm so annoyed that we just gave her all that land that I actually need. What about you? Why are you sat there not being Holy Ward? Right, move the retinues up. Deus Vault. Or whatever the equivalent is. Hello, I'm here to talk to you about our Lord and Saviour. Uh, the Spirits, who are also our enemies, but actually kind of we like them as well sometimes. Depends who we're fighting, really. Alright, goodbye. Thank you for turning up. 100% War Score. Are we, can we make our Empire level title now? Duchy of... God damn it. <laughs> Hang on, I don't even think that's part of Mali, is it? Because that's... Mag yeah, okay. That's the Empire of Mag Magreb? That's a new one. Okay, fair enough. Oh man, it goes all the way to... Uh, all the way to Egypt there. Or, well, not quite Egypt, apparently. Counts as just Africa. Okay, fair enough. Um, man, that's a massive empire, but the wrong one, unfortunately. Uh, Timbuktu. Can we declare war on you again? Do you want to just become a vassal? Do you want to just die, then? Do you want to just help everyone else here and just die? Yeah, you're going to die. Nice knowing you. The monument, Fatima has promised, is finished. The statue is unveiled. And it's a bigger version of Fatima. Only slightly better looking than the real Fatima. Um... I'm not a big f fan of this. Oh, Jesus. Tear it down. Put her in Put her in a place. I'm going to kill her as well. Let's put her on the kill list. You know, I'm going to antagonize her as well. Hey, I tore your statue down, you shit. Wait, that's not her. Uh, go back. Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's wearing the mask. She's trying to hide from me. Antagonize her. Oh, wang. I'm jeweler and kill her dead. Fuck it. She refused the spineless vile freak. Good God. Oh, she's mangled? I'm going to mangle her some more. Welcome to the mangler. Like, I like that you can just do this over and over until eventually, hopefully, she accepts. She, she might always say no. I'm not really surprised. Wow. Spineless foul cripple. Can you call her that? I like that it comes up with a new insult every single time. That's so good. Uh, the man is bought in shackles before you. Apparently, he's a missionary from England. Can't trust him. Get, get rid of him. Oh, God. I made him my court position. <laughs> Don't you hate it? When you want to execute a man, you accidentally make him your court position. Uh, demand religious conversion. Yeah, that's better. Um, you're dead. Thank you. Well, that solved that problem. Uh, he's converted. Well, there we go. Problem solved, eh? Every cloud. Right, send him a gift as well. Keep him on side. We need a new steward. Um, what's wrong with you? Dishonorable jewel minus 150. Oh, God. She had it coming. She had it coming. Honestly, it was, it was really surprised. Everyone, everyone said, you know, Fanima is going to annoy him one day and she's going to end up dead. What happened? She died. All right. Um, how are we doing on the plot? 140% plot power, eh? Send you a gift. Welcome aboard. Uh... Janemba, I'm pretty sure, was an enemy in a Dragon Ball movie. But I, I wasn't going to point that out, and then I thought I probably should, because I didn't really have a pun based on her name. Prisoner, uh, you can die. She's insignificant. No one will care. How old is she? 60. No, uh, no, she's definitely not 62. She's one. Perfect. The right age for uh, right age for dying. They don't feel it. The screaming, it's just air escaping from the shell. That just... <laughs> burn at the stake. What the fuck? I suppose it's not really burning at the stake if it's a one-year-old. It's more like a spit roast. All right. Uh, take not... Edit that out. Edit that. P people are going to misconstrue that. Edit that out. Far Banana uh, at the Copacabana. Has, my conspirator has sent word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards. And on an abandoned inn. That this, this happens a lot. You think they'd stop going to abandoned inns. Right. He's dead. What a shocker. He's gone. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Alas. Uh, what happened? Wait. They've lost the artifact. 
Oh, you shit demon. I read that very briefly, and then I was like, that's not a big deal. And then I realized, hang on, that's actually a huge deal. That's actually a really big problem. Oh, well. Timbuktu is now mine. Uh, vassalization. I, I warn you. You probably want to get vassalized, son. 24th of September. God damn it. Try again. Hang on. We need to be a day away, and then I'll uh, then I'll go in for the swing. All right, turn the speed down. What did that great idol do? I need to double check that. All right. How long till we get there? Prosperity increases. Excellent. For somebody who hates me, you're doing a damn good job. 5th of November. All right, here we go. Watch this. Ready? Pause it. Hey, do you want to be my vassal? No? What a surprise. You're going to die now. Holy war. Oh, they're a, they're a heretic. Right, that's awesome. Well, that's really good. Just free moral authority, basically. Hello. Council said no to that? Really? You can piss off. Am I a tyrant now? Oh, well. Who cares? Honestly, it doesn't matter. When, when Igor takes over, I imagine we'll just get the immortality event with her or something. Let's be reasonable here. All right, take him out. What would they say no to that? Oh, because we've got, we've got 11 out of 8 provinces. What a fool. Rains have been plentiful, and the great harvest in the area surrounding Ulata. Thank you. The blessed skies. Okay, I see what you're doing here. I was going to make a stupid joke, but you've already beaten me to it, Paradox, and that makes it not funny. Magnificent painting. What is it of? Can we find out? Uh, here we go. Oh, the whispering crown. I didn't even notice that. Uh, sacred feathered headdress attuning the wearer with the spirit world. Plus two intrigue, plus two stewardship. It's crap, then. You should have just said it's awful. Uh, magnificent painting. Uh, there are apparently trees and water there, so I'd, God knows how they got that. Okay, uh, take him out. You're done. Thank you. Uh, can we make the empire now? We, we good? Am I, am I emperor? Am I empire of Mali? Boom. That's so good. Holy shit. Be the first empire republic on the map, probably. Probably the only empire republic on the map, let's be honest. Throog. I like this dynasty title, though. That's great. That makes me feel better. And look at the size of our shield. Okay. I mean... I'm, I'm obviously shield. I didn't, I didn't know how to describe that. I wasn't going to say anything else. Um, not quite as large as the Aztec, so that's, that's making me feel very incompetent. It's making me feel, it's making me feel uh, unsuccessful as Grand Salty Goo Irog the Lionheart. But did we? We did skin that lion. Lion hat would be more appropriate. All right, uh, Republic time. Oh my god, I forgot to change the law. I, I told you guys to remind me, and none of you did. All right, they're all going to say no because they'll friggin' hate me. Oh, 300 support. Okay. Um, who would like a favor? You don't need a favor. My god. Is that Darth Sion from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic available on, on Roll 1D2 games? Roll 1D3 games? Linked on the main channel page? Maybe it is. Who knows? But it certainly looks like him or her. Um, We've got a favor on you. Oh, Thor is the word slayer. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you a gift. And I might even sack you depending on whether or not you're going to be a shit. Bye, favor. You're going to be a shit. So you're gone. Goodbye. Fire counselor. Thank you for turning up. You're gone. Marshall. Uh, loyalist. Problem solved. Alright. Uh, how about now? How are we looking? Can I see the... Oh, I can already see how they're voting on the council screen, right? No? There we go. They've approved it. Hey, well, that was that was problem solved. Alright, well, now I've got to wait another... Oh, we could have had it by now. I was too... I was too tied up in the Empire to notice. Recruit my child. That's a good idea. This useless, shitty son. With 16 diplomacy, actually, to his credit. Let's recruit him. Into taking the vows. <laughs> that was not an easy choice to make. No, it was. It seriously was. He's a monk now. Understandably. Uh, the monk. Why have we got monks? I'm not entirely sure. Well, there we go. Problem solved. Oh, we can still recruit him. Can we not? Can we just never see him again? Yeah, let's not. You were approached by a messenger. Uh, it's Patrician... Pat Why did I say it like that? Sergio of this word, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce. For fear of annoying every single Italian who's ever lived. Uh, let him invest. Why not, eh? Let's try and get some profits. Boom. Build cost minus 10%. That's huge. Oh, well, it's not obviously that huge, but it's pretty important. And there is uh, Jesus himself. Reborn on the on the Canary Islands. What do we want to build, then, before we upgrade to city? That becomes a small poor district, which is irrelevant. Small noble district, which is pretty good. Also gives us levy size, temporarily. That's kind of relevant. Tax collector gives plus 2% taxes. Um, it's 117 gold, though. I'd rather just wait and save and build a whole new city, you know? I feel that's like much more worthwhile. Thank you for watching. I shall outro the video on this incredibly nice screen. I'm doing this thing now where any of the outtakes are cut out of the video. I'm chucking at the end of the video to give you guys more of a reason to sit to the end. Otherwise, it's just me reading Patreon names. So after I've read that, you get some outtakes of me fucking up words and saying things that are silly and probably get me demonetized. So you're going to take a look at that if you're interested.
And I'll give a big shout out to my insane top tier level patrons Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Arik, Lucas Holtian, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Whitman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspired Team, Necrophilum, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcs Wolf, Josh Lindy and Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm the Lizard King for their support in keeping this channel going. And as well to Nathaniel Lindberg, Facundo Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quet Latchley, Brandon Montoniak, Pole Master, Evergreen's Waifu, Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick, Sidini, Astro, Jack Allen, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Yoran the Vries, John Connie 2 and 7, Nathan Flores, and the many, many others over at Patreon. Thank you all for your support.